everyone so i am going to be doing a readathon so i am doing it through the instagram tbr knockdown i'm not sure if that's their exact instagram but i'll put it down here below like what their instagram is on the screen so in case you guys want to follow it they host readathons i do pretty much all my readathons through them um they are in a different time zone so i have to convert the times so it starts at 7 p.m today my time and today is the 9th of april and it ends um the 13th at 7 a.m so this is a few day readathon it's kind of like an easter readathon um for people participating in owls they can kind of do some reading for that i didn't do it um because for one thing i am reading this huge book a 900 page book so um yeah i can't read a bunch of books right now because this is going to take me a little bit so i didn't want to like try and do that and also read that book um i'm trying to think of everything i wanted to say because it literally started like 30 seconds ago it hit seven o'clock i'm getting notifications that it started i wanted to film uh, this intro way before it started but um my boyfriend called and so yeah <laughs> But anyway, so the readathon has already started, but I'm going to start after I'm done talking to you guys. Um, so yeah, this is my only book of my TBR because I don't think I'll finish this because it's over 900 pages. If I did, I would be very shocked. So that's the only book on my TBR for this readathon. Probably not going to finish it. Definitely want to get a big chunk in. Okay, I just need to light this candle over here. It mm -hmm. is sweet apple and it smells amazing. Really excited to light that. And then I have tea in the microwave it just got done i just gotta put the tea back in i warmed up the water and yeah then i will be starting the readathon and of course i have my reading buddies readathon is not off to the best start i am seven minutes in and have not read a single word yet but i am so ready i have a cozy blanket i have the candle lit i have my tea i have my book most importantly my reading buddy and i'm gonna put on some harry potter music fyi if you guys haven't done this before um if you're reading a fantasy book go on spotify and look up harry potter soundtrack it is it just makes a reading experience so much better so you should definitely try that if you never have before and yeah i'm going to start reading right now i'm starting on page 39 so i've barely read any of this but i can already confirm it is better way better than tower of dawn i'm loving it already so i'm really excited to read this for this readathon so all right let's get started I just want to say really quick, I am going to read until 8 o'clock and then I have to give my dog some medicine and then um, I'm probably going to take a shower at that point and then read until I go to bed, but not sure exactly how that's going to go yet, but that is my plan right now.
Good morning, everyone. So, um, I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. I've filmed a lot of stuff, which you have obviously seen, but I haven't actually talked to you guys. So I wanna update you on where I'm at with my reading. So I started on page 39, I believe, and now I'm on page 114. So I believe that is 75 pages. Um, I feel like that's pretty good considering like I slept like eight hours and so I've been doing the readathon for like 14 hours and slept eight of those so that's not too bad. Um, I feel like this is going pretty well and also Kingdom of Ash is like um, not like the quickest book like um, the words aren't humongous or anything like there's a lot of reading on each page in my opinion so I don't think that's too bad. Um, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen with this readathon because I found out my boyfriend is off all weekend. So I'm probably going to be spending most of the weekend with him, but I will read as much as possible still. And I still have majority of today. He doesn't get off until four. Then I think we're going fishing. So um, yeah, I should have plenty of time to read today. So today I'm going to read a whole lot. So I'm really excited for that. So right now I'm going to fill up my water bottle and get a snack and read. So in my grandma's yard, there's this tree and it gets beautiful pink flower things on it um, every year at the springtime. And it barely lasts like a week and it's barely started. It's way prettier like later on. But oh my gosh, I get so excited when it starts getting the pink flowers because when it's like in full bloom, it's so pretty. Like I said, it only lasts like a week but it is the most gorgeous thing ever okay so this is really random but my best friend jill loves animal crackers it's her favorite snack and i never like cared for them like they were okay but she we were at the store like a couple months ago and she got them and ever since i saw her get them i've been wanting them and so i got a bag and i've been eating them so that's what i'm gonna be eating have no idea why but after i saw her get them like a couple days later i'm like you know what animal crackers sound really good right now and i've been eating them ever since so thank you jill for adding another unhealthy snack onto my diet thank you for that if you're watching this thank you so i am back up at my room i have a snack i have my book i have a drink and i have cozy cabin socks on and here's fluffy so i am ready to read documentation of tiny trying his first ever animal cracker that was supposed to be fluffy's but he didn't want it I'd say he likes it. That's all you're getting now. Hello everyone. So I am on page 137, which means I've read 98 pages. So pretty proud of that. Um, I'm gonna eat something um, besides animal crackers, like an actual lunch, and then I will come back to this. It is a little early for lunch, it's only like 10 something, but I got up pretty early and I'm hungry for actual food, not just snack food. Hello everyone, so I just got done eating, I talked to my boyfriend a little bit, so I'm gonna read a little bit more, and then after I read, I'm going to take the dogs for a walk around the field in the back of my house because I do that pretty much every day at least once a day sometimes two times a day on crazy days I've even went three because I'm stuck in the house 24 7 and that's like my only way to get out so yeah I like to do that a lot now um and the dogs love it so that's great anyways um so I'm gonna do a montage of me reading so here that clip is <laughs>
Hello everyone. So I read for a while. I am on page 168. So oh, I can't think. I think that's like 130 pages almost. So yeah, I read a good amount. And um, yeah, now I'm going to take the doggos for a walk. I also got to cuddle with Tiny a lot, which was great. Um, yeah, but now I'm going to take the doggos for a walk. And then when I get back, I'll probably read more. Okay, so exciting news. The readathon is going to be on hold, but it's for the most exciting thing ever. So, random thing happened. I literally just found out 10 minutes ago, Michael is getting a new dog. It's a husky, and it's a little puppy, and it's so cute, and has blue eyes. And he gets to leave work early because his boss knows that he's, like, going to get a dog. And it was kind of a spare-of-the-moment decision. But, yeah, so his boss is letting him leave work to go get it. And he's picking me up, and we're going to go get a puppy. I'm so excited. So yeah, readathon is definitely on hold because this is way more exciting. You know, normally normal life is not more exciting than books, but in the case of getting a puppy, it is. I would way rather get a puppy than like read. That's like one of the <laughs> few things that are more fun than reading. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love you. Hey guys, so Michael just left. I'm sorry there hasn't been much to the vlog, but oh my gosh, his puppy's so cute. I picked out the name for him. His name is Levi. When I said that, we both just fell in love with the name, knew that was the name for him, and it fits him so well. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's just the cutest thing ever. I love him. Like, I oh my gosh, and my favorite animals are polar bears. Like, absolutely. Like, when I first get to see one at the zoo I cried I love polar bears and he looks like a baby polar bear like he looks so much like a polar bear my gosh I love him but yeah um so I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed because it's kind of late and then tomorrow I will continue the readathon Michael's gonna come over a little later in the day like I think around noon or one I'll have something going on at noon and then he's coming over at one but the whole morning I'll have to read more for the readathon so I will still be reading some for this readathon. Sorry, I didn't read as much as I would have thought, but you know, puppies are very important. That puppy is super important. He's so cute. I don't even know. Okay, good night. <laughs> Hey guys, so it has not been a good morning. So I've been having problems with my cats thinking it's okay to poop in places besides their litter box. Um, after this morning, um, one of them pooped on my bed and I have reasons to believe it was tiny. It was the spot he was laying in and um, and then I saw him like going like this to the area right before I realized there was poop there. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I have two litter boxes for them. I clean it twice a week and they went in those litter boxes for the past three years. And all of a sudden one of them for the last few weeks has been pooping everywhere and they hadn't done it for a while. And I thought it was over, but and of course it's not. But anyways, um, so yeah. Not a great morning. I, it was at first, and then after that happened, I was just annoyed. <laughs> but anyways, I am on page... Let me see. 205. 
So how many pages would that be? I think uh, a little over 160 for this readathon. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I'm um, considering I haven't been reading like this whole readathon. Like I've had other stuff going on. I'm pretty happy with that. So it is almost 11 so i have an hour to read and then i have something to do at noon and then michael's gonna come over after that so then that'll probably be all the reading i get done for today um i did read some in the morning obviously i wouldn't be at this point if i hadn't had some time but you know i don't think this readathon is a complete fail because i mean it's not like a ton because i do have other stuff going on but it's pretty good like i mean i'm reading way more than i would have if i wasn't doing the readathon um so yeah i'm pretty happy with how much i'm getting read in this book and it's so good oh my gosh i am on the edge of my seat the entire time like from page one pretty much and the more i read the more crazier it gets and the more i like get invested this is so good i'm so happy it's 900 pages or more because i love living in this world it's so good but i do have to say so i know a lot of people like love love um uh, thrown a glass and i last year i read a quart of thorns and roses and i actually have to say i think i like a quart of thorns and roses better i haven't finished a thrown glass so i can't say that for a fact but at this point if i had to pick one of them it would be a quart of thorns and roses roses i mean they're both amazing but if i had to pick like one at this point would be a quart of thorns and roses but that could change by the end of this book but i think i think i'm going to stick to my favorite being a quart of thorns and roses but this is amazing too okay one more thing so i just had an idea the new sarah j mass book again don't remember what it's called but when i do read that would you guys be interesting in like a vlog over me reading it and my opinions um it would have spoilers because um obviously like i'd want to be able to talk about what's going on so i won't be reading it for a little bit so it'll give you guys time if you haven't read it to read it first so then you can watch the vlog and if you don't read it before me then you can read it and then later watch the vlog but let me know if you guys would be interested in that because i'm really excited to experience a new sarah j mass world and it would be cool to bring you guys along with so let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in You want me to hold her? Guys, <laughs> so I happen to start recording at the exact second that the deers ran out. It happened so fast and the dogs are chasing them. So Michael's running after them and I'm holding the pup because he constantly needs someone to hold him. He will start crying, he won't follow. He'll just sit down and wait for someone to pick him up because he's a big baby. But, so, so this is what I'm doing instead of reading. And it's so worth it. Look at him, he's so cute. My goodness, my camera quality makes this ten times better. Hi, buddy. Hi. Was that chasing them? Stupid. I actually was thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I was about to be like, because uh, they were running too fast, I thought they were gone. I'm like, I'm turning around. Me and Stacy just walked with Kissy and the dog. Then you went and got them, and I watched the baby and Kissy. <clears throat> He's so cute. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but his name's Levi from Attack oh! of the Titans. Pain no. in our butt. Another pain in our butt. <laughs>
Hello everyone and happy Easter. So my parents made me an Easter basket for Easter and I'm so excited. So they got me stuff to start my own garden and I'm so excited. So um, the first thing is going in the flower beds we already have. It's um, giant flowers and yeah, I'm really excited about that. But then they got me stuff for like a vegetable garden that we're gonna start. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So I got watermelon cucumbers, um, green beans, more green beans, but a different kind, um, another cucumber, this is hard to hold all these, and then I got two things of sweet corn, so very excited about that, I also got an iTunes card and a chocolate bunny, I want to show you guys the chocolate bunny. This is the chocolate bunny. It's so small and adorable. Michael also got me a larger chocolate bunny he gave me last night. So yeah, I'm very grateful for everything. They also gave me a mini Easter egg hunt. And I am 18, but since I'm the only kid, they don't have any younger kids to do this with. So we just did a small one inside. I got a few. Um, here, I'll just show you guys. Um, sorry, the lighting kind of sucks over here. So um, I got a few chocolate easter eggs and then i got like about 15 dollars too so that was really exciting but yeah i'm so happy so you guys have no idea how excited i am for this garden it kind of makes me think that i'm a hufflepuff how excited i am i think growing stuff is so cool um my like that sometimes makes me question if i'm hufflepuff like how much i love plants and flowers and all that type of stuff i had actually got my parents um some stuff for Valentine's Day. Um, it was just something small I was at the store and saw and got for them because lots of the time we have pumpkins in our flower bed because we'll put them there in the fall and we won't take them out and the seeds we'll just plant on their own and then we'll get pumpkins. So I wanted to buy them one. And so now that instead of being our flower bed, we'll go in my vegetable garden. And then um, I also got them this, but that was on Valentine's Day. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I'm also going to have pumpkins in my garden. So yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see some videos on my garden. <gasps> That's a perfect My Journey series. I just thought about that. I'm so excited. But yeah, so me and my mom have to make food. Um, my grandma is coming over. Um, we see her almost every day anyway, so um, it's not like not social distancing because we have to go over there pretty much every day because we make her food and stuff. But me and my mom are going to make a meal and then later Michael and I are going to go over to his grandma's which is kind of not social distancing but there's literally going to be like his grandma, his mom, and his cousin. Like that's all the people that's going to be there. So um, normally we'd be going to my dad's family which is huge. His family is huge. He had nine brothers and sisters, 10 including him. So yeah, we're, we're they're not having that this year because that would be so many people. Um, it's really a bittersweet like Easter because we don't get to see family and stuff, but trying to keep a positive attitude and yeah, enjoy Easter. It's time to eat the bunny.